I need to shave my beard. At least my mustache is starting to get a little out of control, a little bushmanning. But I am moving to the bush, so technically I will be a bushman, so maybe I'll leave it so I'll fit in with the community. <laughs> uh, I packed away my, my shaver. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> so, we're gonna let it grow au naturel. So we're here working with uh, YouTube, trying to get videos uploaded and stuff, videos rendered. Except my computer's so slow, I'm gonna have to cancel this for now, and then do that after. I've been uploading like mad. I think my internet gets cut off tomorrow here. Not that I haven't paid the bills. I've been paying the bills, but I told them to cut it off because I'm moving, right? And I told them to cut it off a little early, because at first I thought I was moving the 23rd, so I told them to cut it off after the 23rd. I'm not moving to the 26th, so technically I'm not gonna have internet here for two days. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I already packed away all my movies too. Shoot. Didn't think of that. So yeah, we're gonna try to upload these videos now. And uh, so we're all caught up. And then we're gonna go do something else. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm trying to say here. But thanks for watching the vlog today, guys. Let's get started. Okay, I've been fiddling around on that computer way too long already. I've been on there four hours again. Ugh. And we are here at the mighty, 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 mighty Tim Hortons drive through You know what's great about the place where I'm moving? There's two Tim Hortons on my way to anywhere. Where I'm living now, there's no Tim Hortons nearby. I gotta go way out of my way into Winnipeg to get a Tim Hortons, right? Now, whether I'm going to work or anywhere else, there's a Tim Hortons on my way. It's so nice. Oh, I can visit my friends here more often. And by friends, I mean my, my drive-through people. Make new friendships. See, do you have a drive-through relationship with your Timmy's? Or Starbucks or Dunkin's, wherever you guys go? <laughs> In Winnipeg, where I always went, they, they started to recognize me, because every time I order, I go, super duper, right? <laughs> what? What do you want? Oh, I got an email. Oh, nice. Oh, spam. Anyways. So yeah, looking forward to getting to know my drive through people here, and uh, why not? I'm weird like that. <laughs> oh, just a few more days, people, and I move. What is it today, Saturday? Sunday? Monday? Three more nights? Three more nights. Tomorrow I go pick up the U-Haul already. Can you believe that? Tomorrow's vlog will be me going to pick up the U-Haul and starting to load it up. Isn't that insane? Man, it's coming so close. I still feel like there's so many things to do. I just went to go and look at my new house, just for fun, because it'll be mine in three days. In that last little clip, there was a little hint of where it is. <laughs> That's all you're getting. Hey, so how you doing, man? Where you going? Yeah, I want to say hi to you. Whoa! Hey, come here. Come here, sit. Be nice. Are you excited to see everybody right now? I'm very excited, man. I'd be more excited if we could see them outside. I really like to go outside. Well, let's take them outside then. You need to go outside, bud? Yeah, it's dark outside already. I got a letter from someone today. One of you living in Arkansas. I'm gonna read it right now. I opened it before already. Thank you very much, you sent me a letter. All you people who wanna send me stuff, if you do, uh, I never ask for anything, guys. You guys don't have to send me anything. I do appreciate these letters, though. The real encouragement to me. I'm trying to open it with one hand here, it's not really working. It's. It's a real encouragement to get letters. You guys don't have to send any big parcels to me or anything. Honestly, I'm in the middle of a big move right now, and I don't want them to get lost because I gotta change PO boxes, right? But everything will be forwarded to my new PO box anyway, but 
really guys, if you guys do want to send me something, just you can just send me a letter if you want to. You guys don't have to send me anything big and expensive. I do appreciate when you guys do that. I really, really do. It humbles me to see how generous you guys are, but I don't ask for anything, right? But if you do want to send letters like this guy did to encourage me and motivate me, that's always welcome. The P.O. box is always at the bottom of every description. Uh, at the very bottom, there's a lot in the description, I know, but it's at the bottom there, or it's on the website, on the Contact Us page. So, Adam Vore. Adam Vore. He says, I am 12 years old, and I am a huge fan of you, Diesel, and your vlogs. Huge is in capital letters. That's huge. And you're 12 years old, I would like to congratulate you on acquiring your new home. You are a great guy. You've worked hard for it and you definitely deserve it. I would also like to thank you for making your vlogs. I enjoy them very much. And the fact that you are willing to take the time to make them and share them on YouTube is awesome. Thank you very much for what you do. I wish you and Diesel the very best. Sincerely, Adam Vore. This letter was very professional. You write very good letters, my man. You do a lot more of a professional job than me. Usually I'm just like, hey, how's it going, eh? You're writing you this letter. You're like, you wrote this out like a, you're probably an A plus student in English class, aren't you? I bet you are. I think your English teacher should definitely give you some, some bonus marks for this. Cause you did a really good job writing this letter out, man. Thank you very much. And you made me feel like making another video. I like letters like that that make me feel like going out there and making another video. Diesel, we were about to take you somewhere. Do you remember where? He obviously forgot. Diesel, we were gonna go outside. <laughs> oh yeah, man, he totally forgot. Yeah, we're gonna go outside, man. There you go. Good boy, you ready or what? That's, this place is a mess. For those of you who are new to the vlogs, welcome. Like I was just telling you, I'm in the middle of a big move, so. <laughs> All of my stuff that I own is here by my door because we're loading it into the U-Haul tomorrow But we're moving on Tuesday. I'm just getting ahead of myself a little bit. Come on, bud. We're going outside, man. We're going outside. Oh, it's raining. Oh, no. Keep the camera inside. Go do your business, man. I'm a wimp. I'm gonna stay inside where it's dry. <laughs> Don't run away. He'll be fine. He knows where the yard is. He'll be back at the door right away because it's raining. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna let Diesel do his thing out there. I'm gonna put you guys down because I don't want to get the camera wet, and I'm gonna go spend some time out there in the rain with Diesel. So today we've done nothing. We actually went to go uh, make a pass by my new house like a bunch of creepers. <laughs> when they parked right out in front of it, and I just stared at it, just like this. For like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking to myself, you're mine. You're mine. In a few days, you're mine. I was super pumped. The more, the closer we get to the day of the move, the more excited I get. I don't know. I've been talking about it a lot, I know, but you guys probably understand. You guys are all understanding people. Huh, so, until Thursday, guys, there's gonna be no trucking videos. I should probably let you know that. We're hitting the road on Thursday, so if you only like the trucking videos, tune in on Thursday because we're going to be hitting the road and we're probably going to be on the road for a long time because I've had a lot of time off this month. I need to make some money to pay for everything or to uh, rebuild up my accounts. You know, everything's paid for, but I don't want to build up. The house isn't paid for. Who pays for a whole house out in cash? Really? I'm not that rich. I wish I could do that. Could you imagine just... Buying a house and paying it out in cash, right off the bat. That is a dream. One that I may never or may achieve. I will or will not say. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I cannot confirm nor deny this. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Who knows? Maybe one day I'll be rich. Chances are. So you may wonder, truck a Josh. What do you do when you're at home waiting to move with nothing to do? First of all, what does it mean to have nothing to do? Has that ever happened to you where you just sit down and you're like, hmm, I have nothing to do. Really? What's it like? <laughs> what do I do when I have nothing to do? I edit vlogs. 
Oh, look at that keyboard getting all worn down already. Editing so many. Hey, we're at 100%. 100%. This is a 125. MLD 125. I think that was yesterday, right? For you guys, but. Yeah, I gotta put this video t together today yet and make it somewhat interesting because we really didn't do anything today. Uh, like I was saying, we went and saw the new house. We creeped it out for a little bit there, stalked it, went into the general store in town and said hello to everybody. Remind them all, hey, I'm coming in on Tuesday. And they're all very friendly. And they're all uh, looking forward to getting to know them. And uh, having that small town community, you know, if you want to call it a town. I've, I've, I've told you before, right? It's more like a cluster of people who all decided to build in the bush, in the same general area. They put a post office nearby. Presto, it's a town. So guys, yes. Very, very soon. The vlogs will be very different. Diesel, how do you feel about this move? How do you feel about this? Why are you in your cage, man? You want me to walk you up in there? Guys, why do you put the food, man? You're hungry. Oh, look at you. Don't feel bad. Eat up, bud. Eat up. Eat all you can. It's an eat all you can buffet today, man. Don't feel guilty. I don't like it when they all watch me eat, man. I feel fat. Just a scrawny dog. Like, you have anything to worry about. <laughs> I feed him, I swear, I feed him. He's just skinny. He's got a high metabolism. An incredibly, incredibly high metabolism. Hey, seriously, he gets to eat all he wants. And I know I've had suggestions from a dozen or so people about what kind of dog food to give him. And I know, I see him. I see your comments there, I know. We're gonna get back to editing here, guys. And uh, doing a lot more or nothing. Actually, we're gonna watch some YouTube. You might call this research. I love watching YouTube and vlogs to see how other people do them, right? And also to keep up with their lives, because I'm kind of addicted to their vlogs, too. <sighs> I seriously don't need anything else. Even Netflix, I don't even watch that often anymore. TV, never watch it. Netflix, when I, watch, when I want to watch a movie, Netflix is the one to go with. Other than that, YouTube, man. Because that's real. Real reality TV for the most part. Watching vlogs of people. Those are real people. That's why I like YouTube. Why do you like YouTube? Tell me in the comments. Why do you like YouTube? Well, Chris Perillo, you're on my big screen. With a very nice drawing. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Watching Chris here and Diesel's just acting very strange. What did you do? You look very guilty. Doesn't he look guilty? What did you do? Dude, I can still see you. He thinks that if he stands perfectly still, I can't see him. Diesel, lay down. I, I can see you there, man. I don't know what you did, but I don't really care as long as you didn't break anything. Everything else you can just clean up, right? <clears throat> so guys, uh, I'm just watching YouTube here like I was showing you and editing some vlogs keeping up with the YouTubes And uh, that's pretty much my life when I'm not working when I'm not in the truck YouTube that's my life. I don't have any spare time for anything else. This is my spare time That's the way I like it though. You should always spend your time on things you like doing the most It sounds like common sense, but to a lot of people it might be a revolutionary thought that if you actually spend your time on things you enjoy doing, you'll be happy. Think about that. You want to be happy? Do things you enjoy doing. Now, what are you doing here, McAfee Security? I never told you to scan. This has really been bothering me lately. My computer virus thingers have just been doing automatic scans without asking me, and it slows down my whole system. And sometimes I don't realize that it's scanning until it's like almost done. And why is my computer so slow? I like it when it scans overnight, because then it doesn't slow anything down. Oh, well. oh, so tomorrow, guys, are you ready for this? Tomorrow, we're going to go get the U-Haul. How many of you have driven a U-Haul before? Leave me a comment down below if you've driven a U-Haul. How big was the U-Haul? Now, it doesn't count if it was just one of those little baby ones. I'm talking the big, big U-Hauls. I'm getting a 26 foot truck. I don't know how big that's going to be exactly. Is that the biggest one they have? Probably not. Hopefully it's going to be big enough for all my stuff. 
So tomorrow, pretty much all this stuff is going to be in the truck out there. And then I got to figure out how I'm going to get my bike in there and tied down. Oh, and dad's coming with his trailer uh, early next week to load up the dog house because that's coming with me. I'm not leaving that here. Uh, it's going to go on the trailer. It'll be just easier to get it up the ramp onto the trailer. That's pretty much the plans, guys. I'm really looking forward to setting up my drum kit. Really looking forward to that. I might even try to uh, start making a few videos of me playing drums once I get all the rust off. Because I'd probably be a bit rusty. I haven't had room for them. I moved into this place and I was so excited because I have three bedrooms here. And I thought I'd have room to set them up. This was the room that I originally wanted to set my drums up in. But as you can tell, well maybe not in the video, it's not a very big room. So this room was my next option. I was going to set them up in here. But, as you can probably not be able to tell in the video, this room wasn't big enough either. The master bedroom is the only real room big enough to hold my drums. But as you can tell, it's already occupied by a bed. A bed that isn't made, because I'm a rebel. And all my pillows, like I have so many pillows. Got two on there, plus like, how many do I got there? Too many. <laughs> I don't use any of them. But yeah, so I couldn't set my drums up and it's been kind of disappointing. My new house is a lot bigger. So I'll be, probably have room to set my drums up and I'm really looking forward to uh, playing them again. And once I get back into the rhythm, pun intended, then I'll be able to record some stuff and show you guys and see what you guys think and put myself out there for you guys to criticize. <laughs> That's what YouTube is. You put it on the internet and let the whole world criticize you. Some criticism is constructive. I don't hate haters. Some of them have a point. Some of them when they hate on you. Sure it hurts. People can be so mean. But sometimes they have a point. Which sucks, because you're still mad at them, but you're like, dang it! You have a point. Other times you're just like, what planet are you from? I never want to go there. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video from today. I know I enjoyed making it for you. I enjoyed putting it together, and I know that I'm going to enjoy editing it, because it's what I do. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for being a part of my YouTube family and for coming along with me on every day of my life, regardless of what I'm doing. So you supporters out there, high five to you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time, right here. We're not going to be trucking, just so you know, we're going to be at home. We're getting the U-Haul and we're going to be, you know. Moving. Can't be driving a truck tomorrow. I gotta move. But don't worry. Thursday, we're getting back in the truck. All right, guys? Thursday. Can we wait that long? Huh? 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 We'll see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. I don't know what I'm doing. Bye.